Hey guys, Vedran here. Whether you're starting with the guitar or you're playing at some level already, you should definitely get yourself one of these. It is called a looper pedal. And since I've got it, it enabled me to be a one-man band and it has followed me on every single one of my shows. And I highly recommend buying one for many reasons. I'll show you today what this little device can do and why is it absolutely amazing. Welcome back to Gavrik Music. In this lesson I will be showing you how to get started with a loop pedal, how to hook it up to acoustic guitar and I will show you the principle behind it and of course how to record. You can create amazing backing tracks for you to practice with and to have your jam body or even to use it for live performance. If you checked out some of my previous videos you could see that I use a looper pedal quite often but I didn't go explaining what am I actually doing with it. I create a rhythm guitar, then add percussion, add bass line and then I add solos to that background so that I can make arrangements the way I want it. When I grabbed it for the first time I actually felt like I have something special to play with. It was super fun. On the technical side your guitar should have a pickup system so that uh, the cleanest possible signal gets to your pedal. Also you will need some kind of listening device so that you can hear what you're playing and it can be a guitar amp or a speaker with a mixer. Uh, I plugged it in directly to audio interface and to my computer so you can like use headphones if you want but I recommend having a speaker output. There are different brands of loop pedal like uh, TC Electronics makes them, a Boss uh, series and I'm using the Boss because it really fits my needs. It has two pedals so that's one of the important advices I want to give. If you haven't already bought one of your pedals I highly recommend buying the one with two switches, two buttons so that you have separate control for stopping because the models that have only one button they are cool like if you're just practicing in your bedroom and you want to get into it to feel like what it is, is it even for you? But uh, for anything more, I recommend, highly recommend that you buy the one with two different switches. It makes it easier for you like to play better rhythm and to flow and not to be interrupted by pressing it twice. Because on the models with one switch, you have to press twice to stop it. It can be super annoying. Hooking it all up is also super simple. So we have uh, my input here from the guitar and I have output to my speaker and mixer and there is one power cord uh, but also this model is battery powered but I never use that uh, option because it uh, it empties the batteries super fast. When I was buying mine I checked uh, many reviews on YouTube and websites to be sure what I'm getting and since I bought this RC20XL I have not regretted one second. There are newer models now and I'm sure that they're amazing but this one satisfies my needs for now. Maybe later I'll change it for better. This is how it works basically. You press record once with the first beat, you play your sequence and then you press again. It will stop recording but it will continue playing your loop. Let me demonstrate on one chord for example. Stop it. It's all about counting bars and syncing your foot with the first beat. If you press again, a new track or as they call it you overdub. If you press it and hold it on the stop button it will erase the complete track. So let's rec record four bar loop 
and what I'm gonna do this time I'm gonna have a pre count and this is recommended for you if you're just starting with it so you get better flow of that groove that you're creating I will start playing it and then after four bars on the fifth one I'm gonna press record one can see it continues playing I can add to this percussion so now we're kind of getting some reggae but doesn't matter really if I want I can add a bass line simple if you have separate controls so you don't have to press twice on the same pedal okay let's play it again this time we're gonna introduce a solo track to it Let's do a little demonstration of a four bar loop. see this light that is flashing it shows us that the loop is already recorded and ready to play as soon as I press here again it will start playing I stopped it to explain that if you record a track that you don't maybe like like if you overdub something that you didn't like you can do the undo or redo of that very track so for example let's record a bass line and then I'll show you how to erase it from the mix and later add it so it's also good to build arrangements if I'm like in live show I often do use that option to kind of uh, gain more dynamic in the song let's record a bass now we're playing if I press record at any time it will start recording even though I'm not like at the first loop. fun to play with all of this you can add 
infinite number of layers here but I do not recommend doing so because they do get muddy after a while so I'm like sticking to like I don't know three four five maybe six tracks that's it you don't need more actually to create the fullness of sound I personally do more complicated arrangements let me erase it I do complicated arrangements uh, for my shows and you can do most of the songs because today's pop music tends to have a lot of repeating patterns repeating bars and loops and that makes it super easy for me to get deeper in it looper changed the way i perform and it kind of gave me musical freedom i'll do a small example of a complicated arrangement and let's take a song that you might know then I will also introduce how you can make a break in the middle of your track, of your recording and that kind of gives super nice dynamic to your song. Let's do a familiar melody so that you can actually follow along because it is super simple, it is a 3 chord, it is G, D and A minor and second time we're gonna go G D and C. Let's start. I will do four bars before uh, on the side so that you can see how I actually jump in it but usually when I do shows I go directly on the first beat because I already got used to the device but for you start with the four pre-count uh, so that you can feel it at first. knocking on a heaven's door and we saw how we stopped it immediately and then I played a chord to just like finish up that circle but this is what I do also you can make a break in the middle of it and it's gonna kind of give you more dynamic Let's play the recording one more so I can undo the previous track which were percussion and bass recorded in the same instant without interruption and they will disappear. I press and hold for a few seconds. It's just the guitar. If I press and hold once more, I get all of it back. Power and it can enable you to do music like you always wanted to, like to 
create our whole band. It is so much fun and the point of this video is for you to discover how you can do the same. Start with a simple loop and just explore what you can do with it. When I perform I also have additional octave pedal hooked up to the looper so it gives me kind of that massive bass sound and I'll do a video demonstration of it in one of the future videos and just leave in the comment if you're interested to see it. And for any questions you have related to this, you can write in the comment and I will answer it. And that would be all for this video, see you in the next lesson.